Hello and welcome to another episode of Beastopilisus, the hairy beast, where we talk about everything hairy and extinct. I'm your host, Benjamin Berger. Today is February 15th, 2014, which means today is World Pangolin Day. Pangolins. So I thought I would do a uh, video all about fossil pangolins. Um, but, but first I need to uh, to call my dad, wish him a, a happy pangolin day. Hello, dad? Yeah, well, well, happy pangolin day. Pangolin day, yeah. It's basically a day to raise awareness of, of pangolins um, for their conservation so they don't go extinct. Yeah, pangolin. Um, yeah, yeah, you can Google it. It's, it's P-A-N-G-O-L-I-N. Yeah, they're these cute little animals, and they're they're covered in scales. Yeah, like armor, like a, a dragon's armor or something like that. But the scales are actually made out of keratin. Yeah, like like the stuff that makes your hair and your your fingernails. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're yeah, and but they also have a really long tail that's prehensile, which means they can hang from it. They can hang. They can hang off like tree branches and stuff. Yeah, and they have big claws that they use to dig around in the dirt, and they can roll up in balls so that, yeah, so carnivores can't eat them. No, no, I'm not making this up. These are real animals. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, you, you can't keep them as pets because they eat ants, and they have these really long tongues. Yeah, that they can lap up ants and eat them, and, and, and they don't have any teeth. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to wish you a, a happy pangolin day. All right, well, take care. So, in this episode, we're going to be talking about pangolins and the fossil record of pangolins. Now, pangolins are pretty weird creatures, and they live today in Africa and, and Asia. They're related to um, small insectivore mammals like hedgehogs, as well as big carnivorous mammals like tigers. So they're found uh, based on recent phylogenies in between these two groups. And they're really kind of a bizarre and interesting group with a, a fabulous fossil record that I'm going to talk about today. Now, today there are eight living species of pangolins, and they're all placed within a single genus called Manus, which is Greek for ghost. Woo! Okay. And they are the only living member of an order of mammals called the Philodonta. Now, the Philodonta are found only in Africa and Asia today, but their fossil record extends across the entire world, except for Australia and Antarctica. Here in North America, we have some of the oldest pangolins. In fact, here's a specimen that I put in my dissertation a while back. It's from Colorado. It's about 60 million year old pangolin. These pangolins from North America are very old and they still have little nubbin like teeth that are in their jaws. Uh, modern pangolins have lost all of their teeth. But these early ones from the Paleocene period, right after the extinction of the dinosaurs, um, still had and still retained teeth. And this is Propeleodon. Um, up in Wyoming, we have another one that's very closely related, but a little bit more uh, primitive teeth from about 60 million years ago called Mylodon. And up in Alberta, Canada, at the same time, we had Meliella, another pangolin from Canada. But heading up way up into Ellesmere Island, up into the Arctic Circle, there were pangolins in the Eocene. This is Arctiodon. Uh, Arct Arctic pangolin from the Eocene. Well, of course, the Eocene was much warmer at this time, so uh, pangolins could live up in the Arctic Circle, which is pretty crazy to think about. Now, we have some really nice pangolins. One of the oldest pangolins we have here in North America, about 63 million years ago, is S. Cavadodon, which we know from a, a pretty good skeleton from the Nascimento Formation of New Mexico. We also have an incredible um, collection of skeletons of Metachyromes, which is the, the saber-tooth pangolin of North America that lived about 47 million years ago that had two big canines. That was all the teeth that it had. Um, a little pangolin-like creature. And then 
into the late Eocene, we have Patromanus, which is a fairly common uh, pangolin from North America that we see at the end of the Eocene in North America. About this time in the middle Eocene, the little pangolin said, off we go to Europe. The first European pangolin to be discovered is, is Eurotamandua. <laughs> Eurotamandua, which is known from the Messel site in Germany about 47 million years ago. And uh, a really interesting complete skeleton was discovered. And when they first found this pangolin in Europe, they were like, what is this thing? And they thought it was maybe a Xenarthrin, which is a group of South American um, mammals. And they didn't know what it was. Um, a few years later, we found Eomanus. And Eomanus is the first fossil pangolin that we actually have evidence of keratin scales on its back. And you can see that here with this, these two beautiful specimens of Eomanus from Messel, Germany. So pangolins got into Europe back in the Eocene. And then the pangolin said, off we go to Asia. And we find some Asian um, pangolins from the Eocene as well, from the late Eocene. This is Cryptomanus, which was described uh, mostly from postcranial bones, the skeleton of this from Mongolia, from the late Eocene of Mongolia. And then the pangolin said, off we go to Africa. And they went off to Africa. And the first evidence we have of African pangolins is about 31 million years ago, which is during the early Oligocene. And uh, these are little bones of, of um, ungles, the, the tips of the fingers, which are forked in pangolins. It's one of the characteristics that provide some uh, strength when they're digging around and rooting around for ants. And these are found in the Fayum Depression in Egypt. Um, and it's the first indication of pangolins making it to Africa. So today, the, the distribution of pangolins uh, is very different than its fossil record. The fossil record we have in North America, Europe, and, and Northern Asia. And today we find them in uh, South Africa, as well as Southeast Asia, where they've done well as the climate changed during the Oligocene into the Miocene. When things got really cold, they all went to the south, where it was nice and warm. And so they're found um, in Africa and Asia, and there's eight different species of them living today. So this video is basically to help save the pangolins. So don't eat pangolins. Don't buy pangolin products. Uh, report wildlife crime if you notice that people are trafficking in little pangolins. Um, and spread the word that pangolins are really, really awesome. And I put a link in here for a great organization if you'd like to contribute. And thank you for watching another episode of Beast of Pilosis. Take care. And happy pangolin day! Happy Pangolin Day!